Colorado Cross Disability Coalition's 2016 Election Voters Guide. Colorado-based, disability-specific ballot information. Amendment 69, State Health Care System. Statewide Single-Payer Health Care System. This amendment would create a single-payer system this is a health care system where we all pay about 10% of our income to the state and they take that money to pay for health care for everyone. People at the state will run this program and can make rules about health care. The rules are the same for everyone. This is different from what we have now because we all have different health care. Some of us have health care from the government, like Medicaid or Medicare, where we sometimes get extra services because of our disabilities. Other people have private insurance, like Kaiser or Blue Cross, usually through their jobs. Some people have no health care at all. Amendment 69, State Health Care System, The Details. This would make a single-payer health care system. It would remove the need for private insurance companies. It would give all Colorado residents health care coverage. Medicaid and the Children's Health Care Program would be paid for under this one program. The program would be run by a 21-member board. The Relationship to Disability Issues Healthcare and disability are closely linked. Most long-term services and supports are paid through Medicaid programs. Many people that are part of CCDC think that a statewide healthcare system would be a good idea. CCDC also agrees that the current system doesn't work and leaves too many people out. Private insurance premiums and costs are too expensive. The cost of running the system is too high, leaving less money for taking care of people. However, there are too many problems with Amendment 69 that may be bad for people with disabilities. Concerns with Amendment 69 this is a constitutional amendment, which makes it very hard to make any new changes. Any glitch or problem is not easily fixed. To make a change would require a new vote at another election. Passing a constitutional amendment costs millions of dollars and takes a lot of time. This program will be run by a group of 21 people called a board. The board will be elected, meaning only people who can raise enough money can get elected. The board will be allowed to set their own rules. The board members cannot be removed if there is a problem. The board will likely be filled with people from groups with their own ideas, like drug companies, hospital groups, and nursing home associations. The board will not likely have people with disabilities on it, as they often don't have the money to run a campaign. The governing board has no rule telling them to include people with disabilities. They don't even have to consider or protect the needs of people with disabilities. If these needs are overlooked, we have no way to make changes. The amendment promises only that federally required Medicaid services will be kept. Colorado has services that do more than the basic requirements. If the costs are too high, the board can make cuts and you may have to pay more or end up with fewer benefits. Medicaid would be part of the system, but it might not be kept the way it is now. 
The new board could decide if these extra Colorado programs get to continue or if they get cut. There is no promise that Medicaid would be run the way it is now. For example, the board could decide to offer medical care and home health care, but they could choose not to allow care that is managed by the user. There is nothing that would keep the board from changing the rules about how equipment is bought. This could mean the quality of wheelchairs and other medical equipment could go down. The amendment doesn't have any plans for keeping long-term services and supports. The list of benefits doesn't talk about the services that are open for people on the Medicaid waiver programs. Before you can be part of the new health care system, you have to live in Colorado for one year. Colorado has a great disability community, and people move here from all over to be part of it. This would make moving to Colorado really hard for people with disabilities because they would have to pay all their health care costs for a whole year, and many couldn't afford it. The initiative doesn't include Medicare or Veterans Health Care. This means that people on Medicare or VA care will still have the same insurance premiums they pay now, but they will have to support the new program. Doctors that are willing to see Medicare patients would have to deal with paperwork for both the new system and the Medicare system. Many doctors will not want to do this and will decide not to treat Medicare patients. This means there will be fewer doctors available for people on Medicare. The cost to run the program is not clear. There may not be enough money to run it the way it is being described. If there isn't enough money, the board would be able to vote to cut benefits. It seems likely the first place cuts would be made would be to the benefits for people with significant disabilities. Finally, even though the current health care system is broken, the amendment on the ballot has too many problems. Sadly, CCDC must oppose Amendment 69. CCDC recommends you vote no on Amendment 69.